would you mind just going on to the back there and just close those doors? People can still come in if they want to. They'll be open, but I mean, unlock. So if you would, that'd be great. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Just pull the doors too. That's great. And Todd, you're breaking your group on in. Great. So let's just close the doors when we're done there. Thank you.
promise, we can be the promise. You can be the promise, you can be the promise. We can be the promise. You can be the promise.
We don't hear about that so much anymore, but it is still an ongoing issue in the city of Flint. This piece was written to recognize that. The spoken parts are written by students in the Flint area schools, that you will hear in their own words what this tragedy has done to affect their lives.
I still keep hope that Flint has a brighter future ahead of it.
Come on, buddy, here we go. Okay.
sense that you're doing doing right by the world by working with these young people and helping them to create something beautiful. So uh, again, I thank you for the uh, joy of, of this event. Thank you for doing it, everybody, since 1980. I tell you, I was not doing it in 1980. <laughs> <laughs> I was fairly, yeah, I was, I was fairly old at that time, but <laughs> not old enough to be here doing this. So I, I just want to thank you again, audience, for coming, and I just want to thank most of all these dear young people, because you can tell this music was not easy, and they put a lot of time in to get ready for this today. And I want to thank our friends from GRCC TV who have come today. I want to thank our friends from the Collegiate Newspaper, the GRCC's Collegiate Newspaper, for covering this. Just all the people who have come to support us today. So again, thank you. I wish you a safe trip home. And on behalf of all my colleagues here, we are grateful 
for these young people and the opportunity to work with them. So everybody have a safe trip home, and thanks for coming. Okay. Take care.